Do you know that a woman's menstrual cycle is often in tune with the moon cycle? So, but what's happened is we've gotten out of harmony with the moon and nature as women because we're around blue lights all the time. So as our exposure to light has changed, so has our natural rhythm with things like the tides. Well, the tides are controlling, you know, are, are lined up with the moon. So you start to see where it all comes together in one key place, which is change, you know, affect water and you can affect nature and you can affect the human body. And we're all symbiotic. Exactly. Uh, that's we where are, my brain just, we are, as we are a part of the one big ecosystem, but we are part yeah. of the much larger ecosystem. And that's if right. we are in resonance with it, we move with life. We are not separate from life. I believe that when we are one, this is how H2O molecules are teaching us. They colloquially speaking, as I mentioned, join hands. When we energetically are connected to our environment in a meaningful way, we cannot not be healthy. Right. We have to be because we are a part of something bigger than ourselves. And all the energy around us becomes our energy. But when we are separate, when we are disconnected, so to speak, whatever is disconnected will eventually die because it dies off. It doesn't mm. have the connection with mm. the whole. Yeah. It, have you heard of a microbial aura that actually our microbes aren't just on our skin? They're not just in our gut. They're on our skin. They're around every yeah. organ. But then if we could measure it, there's actually an aura of microbes that are coming off of us. So when we interchange and interact with other people, we are actually meshing our different uh, microbial universes together. What I'm also thinking, and, I, and I'll just, you know, I've had a bumpy morning and there's a lot been going on in my life. I pop on this podcast with you. Whatever you got going on, Mario, you have the most beautiful spirit. And even though we're not in the same location, I already feel changed within one one hour conversation with you. And so again, I go back to this global possibility of, of turning water into coherent water. We can not only just change our own internal environment, we can change our microbial aura. So now we are actually sending good microbes out to everybody we hug or touch or talk to, but we're also changing that frequency that we're emitting. And that frequency is going to start to interact with other people's frequencies.